American couple Don and Carrie Fitzgibbons have donated photographs they captured of Palau over 40 years ago during their first, and first visit and stay in Palau. Some of those photos were donated to the Belau National Museum. Uh, Don and I came to Palau in November of 1967 as a part of the Micronesia 6 Peace Corps Volunteer Group and I was assigned to work in agriculture and Dawn worked with the hospital because she was a medical technologist. As a secondary assignment, um, Dawn and I lived at the Palau High School dormitories in a little yellow house that the vocational school built for us and our responsibilities were to supervise the students on the weekends and to make sure they maintained their curfew um, and we also worked in the uh, activities so we ran study halls in the cafeteria and we took them on picnics on the weekend. Well, we took pictures just of the experiences we were having the things that we thought were interesting and of course at that time in Peror there was no tourists, no diving, uh, there were only two hotels, uh, there were no roads on Babeldaub except from the ferry dock to the airport and uh, so we just took pictures that we were experiencing day to day but in addition to that, we um, collected the yearbooks from Palau High School for 1968 and 1969. And we brought those back to Palau, and we've actually given those to the principal at Palau High School today, uh, along with a, a DVD of uh, copies of all the photos in there. Um, Dawn and I uh, didn't come back to Palau until 19 until, excuse me, from 1969 until 2011. We came on a holiday, and we decided then that we needed to return to Palau to work. So we, we came back in January of 2012, and we're now going back to the States. We've been here three years, and at, during that time, I worked with the Preparedness Office of Public Health, and Dawn worked as the epidemiologist in public health. The couple moved back to the United States last week after living and working in Palau for three years. This is Rolinda Jonathan reporting for OTV News.